Howdy you folks, just a quick follow-up. A couple of days ago I did a review on this KSGER T12 soldering station. I'll throw the link below if you wanted to see it, if you haven't seen it. I've been using it for the last couple of nights on some projects, really happy with it. So it's performing exactly as I hoped. But in that review I had mentioned the main problem with mine is it didn't keep the time when you shut it off. There is a, a clock on this thing a funny feature for a, a soldering station but it's got one when you turn it off or at least on mine it resets it to 0 hundred hours every time you power it back up the reason for that is there's a little backup battery in it to keep the time when it's turned off it's just a standard 2032 lithium 3 volt button cell and this thing is completely dead I'll just probe it here and we'll look at the meter while we're doing that in fact, it's reading a little bit of negative voltage. Stone cold dead. And this thing, by the way, it's just got a, one of those little Pico blade plugs on the end that plug into the circuit board on the back of the panel here. At any rate, just to make sure that this thing does keep time when it's turned off with a good battery, I have hooked a 2032 up to it here. It's, I've just got it in a little 2032 holder. And I've got it plugged into the board. And what we'll do to make sure it's working here, we'll just zoom into the display. And we'll set the time. Oh, anyways, I think 16 is time. Yeah, date and time, confirm. Yeah, we won't worry about the date, but let's just arbitrarily set this to something. Oh, let's go to 1500 hours. How about that? So 1502.17. There we go. So we set the time. And there it is, 15.02. Now I'm going to turn it off for, I don't know, a couple, three minutes. And we'll come back and just make sure it's still got the time and it's actually counting up to like 1505 or whatever we'll be right back it's been a few minutes so let's turn it back on remember it takes a while to boot up so there we are 1505 it's working here we'll just zoom out a bit oops wrong way so if i do unplug disconnect the backup battery okay and i turn it off turn it back on back to zero hundred hours. Now to take this one step further I was kind of curious what's the parasitic drain on this? We will zoom out and we'll go back to the meter here. We've got the meter in our um, amp scale, milliamp scale, sorry. And I'm just gonna hook this up in series to the battery so we can see what the parasitic drain is. Make sure nothing touches. So even when it's plugged in and powered up, looks like there's a parasitic drain of about 67 microamps. 0 0.07 milliamps. But now let's turn it off and see what the, uh, here we'll go back into microamps. We'll turn it off and see what the parasitic drain is on the battery. Wow, 260, let's call it 6, 65 microamps. So it's about 0.27 milliamps, 0.26, 0.27 milliamps. Now that's a lot for a little button cell. Let's get the handy dandy calculator out and figure this out. So a little button cell like those, 2032s, they've got roughly 200 milliamp hours of capacity in them. Meaning that if you put a 200 milliamp load on it, the battery would be dead or at least down to an unusable workable voltage in an, in an hour, in one hour. So we'll take the 200 milliamp hour capacity and then we'll divide it by 0 0.26 0 0.26 so in 769 hours that battery will de be depleted with that amount of parasitic drain on it and as far as number of days that is we'll divide it by 24 hours 32 days so roughly a month that's a no-go for me <laughs> If I had to replace the battery every month to keep the time, no way. So I'm curious if anyone else has got one of these uh, KSG ER T12s or a different brand. If you do have a battery in it and it lasts longer, you know, this might just be a fault with this one that it's got such a high amount of parasitic drain keeping the clock memory uh, up and running. Or maybe they're all like that. And if that's the case, <laughs> don't even worry about the battery. Just yank it out of there like I was going to do all along. Looking at the glass half full, if you do yank the battery out, every time you turn it on, come on, your clock naturally resets at zero hundred hours. 
So, and it will count up from there so you can kind of tell how long you've been working. Look at it half full. If you see two hours on there after you've been working on the bench, you know you've been sucking solder fumes for two hours. Cheers, folks. Have a good one.